Hi Taurus, welcome to your general love reading for the first week of September. Please remember that um, energy is fluid and this may or may not resonate with you. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, please share and subscribe to the channel. Okay, general messages for Taurus. Okay, you have the two of pentacles. So someone is juggling a decision or you are juggling a decision. The Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone is in regret, or you are feeling you are in regret, so I will be clarifying. So the Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy, so you could be single, very abundant, or a person you're dealing with is single, and very abundant. You have the Star, Aquarius Energy, so this could be wish fulfillment, could be healing, someone's wishing upon the star, or you could be. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you have the full, yeah, somebody's trying to make a decision about whether to take this leap of faith with you. That's Aries energy. Clarify the five of cups. Okay, this is definitely, this is someone from your past, six of cups. So, uh, this is Aries Leo. Sorry. Uh, seriously, are you dealing with an Aries or a Leo Taurus? Alright, this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It's emotions. Um, it's feelings. That's what cup energy is. So yeah, this could be somebody from your past who is in regret right now. What is the Nine of Pentacles, please? What is the Nine of Pentacles? You have the Eight of Cups walking away. So you possibly walked away from this person or they walked away from you to be single. Something could have been hidden as well because you have the moon in this card. And what fell on the floor was the Three of Swords. So this is uh, air energy, this messages, this is heartbreak, and this is third party. That um, was actually clarifying the walking away. Let's just clarify the three of swords for this. Okay, yeah, you have the prince of swords, and the ace of wands, and the nine of cups. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling third party energy. I hate doing third party reads. But somebody thought, uh, yeah, somebody thought the third party was wish fulfillment. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Ace of Wands. This is um, a very passionate new beginning. This is my they've already had sex card. Sorry to say. Let's just clarify the star. So yeah, they had a very passionate new beginning with somebody else, and they are in deep regret and wanted to come back to you. The star, okay. I, again, this is the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups have just clarified the star. So they want to come back to you. They want a passionate new beginning with you because you are a wish fulfillment. Okay, how does this person feel about Taurus? Okay, they feel stabbed in the back. Why do they feel stabbed in the back? Okay, what Michael is saying is um, you need to take this how it resonates. Taurus, you could have stabbed them in the back, you could have cheated on them, or they could have cheated on you, either way, somebody was stabbed in the back here, that's the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, mainly Gemini, you have the chariot, this is the Cancer card, so movement forward, travelling, someone's um, wanting to come and see you, wants to come talk to you, yeah, the eight, eight of Swords, you possibly feel bound and stuck to the past, but you're not actually... You can free yourself at any point. I mean, your legs are still... They're, they're not bound. You can run away from this at any time. You can throw them swords down. You can take the strength off, take the blindfold off, and you can run away from this if you feel trapped. Or if it's the, the other way around, if it's them. Uh, yeah, you have the six of course. Uh, six of course? Where did that come from? <laughs> okay, my apologies, Taurus. You have the six of swords. So wanting to sail away to calmer waters right here. This could be you, this could be your person. You have the Princess of Cups. Use your intuition about this um, family situation. You could have a family with this person. Let's see what else we've got for you. How do you feel about them, Taurus? How does Taurus feel about their person? It's supposed to be a general read, it's turned into a love read. Yeah, uh, the Prince of Swords, I think you, you're pretty much done. 
Okay, yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, this is uh, planting seeds, uh, waiting for harvest. That's Earth energy. You have the Empress. So you could be in your Empress energy right now, because this is one of your cards. This is Libra and Taurus card. You're in your Empress energy. You could be a single mum. Um, you could possibly be pregnant at the moment, but you're very loving, very nurturing and caring. Ace of Cups here. The way you feel about this person is um, you want a new beginning with them. Oh, I could just heard someone say, no, I don't want any exes, but this is your story. Just take it how it resonates. Somebody out there wants, wants their ex back. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, again, this is intuition. Use your intuition on this or someone else is using it for you. You have the Death card, Scorpio energy. Um... Definitely new beginnings are happening for you. Five of Wands. This is gossip. This is jealousy. This is conflict. There's too many people involved in the situation. This is fire energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm hearing Leo predominantly here. So you could be dealing with a Leo. What action are they likely to take towards you? If you hear whispering, it's um, Boss Baby number three with me. He's not sleeping at the moment. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so the action they want to take towards you is the Queen of Wands. Again, they want to give you um, a lot of loving energy. They want to return to you. Of course, this could be you who just wants... Um, you know, I think you're working on yourself at the moment, but you're very passionate about what you want to do. You've got the Moon here, Cancer of Pisces. Um, energy, something that was hidden will come to surface because you see this little crab is coming out of the water here, meaning that truth will come to light. This Queen of Wands could have been the third party, I've just been told by Michael. The Archangel Michael has just said the Queen of Wands could be the third party, another Aries Leo Sagittarius. Nine of Swords. Okay, so the action they're taking at the moment is, they're not taking any action, they are up in their head, they're not sleeping at night, they're feeling very depressed, they can't, really can't sleep. Um, Ace of Wands, again, and the Nine of Cups, again. Again, you wish fulfillment, they want a passionate new beginning with you. <laughs> what? You're reversing the movie. Okay, we'll go sit down and watch the movie then. My apologies, Taurus. <laughs> For Boss Baby number three. <laughs> okay, um... What's the future connection? Ace of Pentacles, yeah. There's, there is, there will be um, a reconciliation, a new beginning. Starting off small, um, coming in with the gifts. But this is good energy. And he's running back. But Seven of Wands, you're very defensive towards them at the moment. Prince of Pentacles, yeah. You could be concentrating on my, on your finances at the moment. Let's see, what is the future for this connection? How does Taurus feel about the future of this connection? And then we'll get five more messages. How does Taurus feel? Okay, I think you're moving on. You could possibly just want to move on. Again, this is Cancer Energy. M moving away from this situation if you're done with it. Or you could be moving uh, quickly towards them. Can you go sit down please, darling? Mum's got to get on with the reading. Okay. Let's get some messages from your person, as soon as it turns into a love reading. Okay, messages from Taurus person. Your mind, not hers. Messages Taurus. But do you really believe your mum? That came out in the stalking reading. Our relationship was never real. Um, I'm a player, yeah, but that's obviously with the third party energy, with the Queen of Wands. They have an alcohol addiction. You have, we can conquer anything, and we are meant to be together. Okay. Now, let's get some different type of messages from your ex, if this is the ex you're dealing with, this is the person. Messages from Taurus X, if that is who they're dealing with in September. Let's 
just from the effect. Okay, that'll do there. I had you and your new boo followed, so if you are in a relationship, your ex person had you both followed, possibly just um, stalked on social media, is what I'm hearing. I'm pissed you didn't choose me, now no one will have you, that's a little bit possessive, I don't like that energy. I'm seeing someone you know, okay, so the third party is somebody you know. Uh, I had someone, I had sex with someone else in our bed when you were in the hospital having our baby. I'm sorry for that Taurus, my loves. I'll wind you up so you'll get angry on purpose. Okay, this is starting to sound like um, a narcissist behaviour. I slept with the karmic in our bed when you were and the kids were asleep. So your ex could have invited a karmic over while you were asleep and you didn't know that they were there. So be mindful of that, but please do not, um, don't force this to fit if it's not your story. This is a message for somebody out there. I'm very ugly on the inside. Yeah, I'm getting that energy. This is, uh, this is the message uh, from the karmic from the other woman. I hate her beauty even though she is older than me. Okay, Taurus, let's get some messages from the Rebel deck. Messages for Taurus. Really sorry if you're dealing with that kind of an energy, if this is, this is your ex you're dealing with. I really am truly sorry. I don't like these kind of reads. Okay, some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So that's good, Taurus. Good stuff's about to happen for you. So, you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Yeah, if you were dealing with a narcissist, just, it, it won't work. Don't try and change them. They will never will. Have you eaten? You are acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. So, if you've, if you've been not been eating, um, Lately, possibly due to stress. Please eat something, my darlings. Don't waste away. Don't let this get to you. You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Yeah, speak up, Taurus. For the, from what I know about Taurus is, I mean, I am an Aries Taurus cusp. Um, my God, we know how to talk. We know how to speak our mind. And usually with me, if you're an Aries Taurus cusper, basically if you piss off the ram, you're going to get the ball by the horns, that sort of thing, you know. <laughs> so you go, you got to be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. Yeah, I'm getting that. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess, in fact, clean yourself up. So yeah, have yourself a nice a spiritual bath. That's what I told Aries earlier, because they got the same card. You got fuck shit is about to get real. Aries also got this card, so you could be dealing with an Aries. But you need people around you. So yeah, you need the people around you. You need your friends um, around you, possibly family. So what's going on there? Let's just get some romance angels for you. You have passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Okay, you have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Like I said to Aries, no, it wasn't Aries. I think it was Libra. We I did for Libra, they needed to disconnect. So I just said, um, you might want to just disconnect from social media just for about a few days or so. Just disconnect, just ignore everyone. You deserve love, you are lovable. Yes, Taurus, yes, you are lovable. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Now you have free will, so you can uh, work on that relationship if you want to, or go for go for new. It's entirely up to you. Let's just get a couple more messages for my own time on this. You have girl with a snake. So this could be um, the third party. This could be the karmic. You have empath and narcissist paradigm. 
being charmed or used enable boundaries there. See, I thought you were dealing with a narcissist. I picked up on that straight away. Sorry, Taurus. I don't get along with narcissists. Me being an empath, I've always had narcissists in my life. They flock to empaths. So use your intuition. You've got healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Yeah. So try and make yourself happy, my loves. You have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So if you've got a new person coming through, they could be running at the moment. Oh, Chaser, we've got twin flames. Okay. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you had the twin flames card come out. <laughs> so you could be dealing with your soulmate. Let's just see what Chipper has to say. Yes, pathway. Yeah, so open up the pathway and move forward. Um, with your life, go out into a forest, sit down on a rock or a, you know, a log, just look at the sunset coming through, you need some time to yourself, I think, darlings, you have Southern Wells, so you've got really good um, money prospects coming towards you, possible promotion or a lottery win, inheritance, anything like that, and here you have it, you have the false person, so somebody was wearing a false self mask in the relationship, um, someone was pretty much lying to you the whole time, stealing, cheating, backstabbing, anything like that. Okay, so that is your reading, my lovely Taurus. If any of this resonates, give us a thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe. Bye bye darlings.